Here are some things which I do not like in movies. Cringe humour. Storylines which could be avoided with a single conversation. High schools. Excessively angry characters. Here are some things which are included in Superbad. Cringe humour. Storylines which you get the idea. <laughs> it's more of a you get the idea. You know what I'm talking about. You know about. what I'm talking about. Anyway. However, here are the also things. That wasn't a me, that was a you. That was here a are the also things which I could not possibly complain about. What is that <laughs> sentence? So good, that. Thank you for not rereading that. <laughs> that is terrible. Michael Sarah, oh yeah. Jonah Hill and Christopher Mintz Plass were born for these roles. You've seen them do it a thousand times, but this was early enough in their career that you have to acknowledge the God-tier casting here. Yeah, very true. What makes this even crazier is that my favourite casting of these, ah, Christopher Mintz Plass, you kept that under wraps in the thing, very nice, was a wild card, an unknown performer prior to this movie. The casting department smashed it out of the park. They, we are, we are going to get on to casting for our yeah. performance character scores. Brilliant. 100%. As improvisation was the name of the game when shooting this, it also meant that the dialogue was creative and, importantly, hilarious, in my opinion, of course. Next, somewhat unusually, the plot was pretty awesome. I love the way they split the storylines and interwove them throughout. I would say that the conflict between Seth and Evan, Jonah Hill and Michael Serra's characters, was a classic could have been avoided with some simple honesty which annoys me in movies but there were other very important drivers to the plot which didn't fall fault to this which didn't does that actually this. make sense it sounded mm. right in my head but the blue bits underneath make it look like it doesn't <laughs> oh reading it i struggle to uh, make which didn't fall fault to this if you read it quick does it <laughs> what you, i i get i get what you're saying yeah i'm just yeah. saying like there are other things yeah almost always these films like the only thing that pushes them forward yeah is like is one thing that could be avoided with a conversation whereas there's so many other things going on in this movie that it doesn't really matter yeah very prevalent in rom-coms which you said big time. you yeah, do big dislike time. and and we spoke about this at the start where yes there are you know a conversation would fix this but i think the whole point of being young and pubescent and adolescent is that you do stupid things that you look yeah. back on and think well, I'd have just said this at the time. Yeah. So I, I just don't think it makes idea. very good movies. Personally. Fair enough. But luckily, in this case, it was kind of a small Wasn't as important. part of the overall. They had small. other really good things going on yeah, in the plot. Yeah, for sure. Overall, then, this movie represents everything I can't stand in a movie. And yet, they did such an incredible job in so many areas that I couldn't ever call it bad. And so I settled on above average, 7.5. 7.5. Thoughts on that? Still there's no way that I could say I didn't enjoy the movie mm. um, and I think that that is because it was an ex insanely well executed version of something that I don't like mm. alright okay I that's kind of that's kind of how I came to that score yeah yeah okay fair enough